you drift off slowly, quieting your mind and allowing all thoughts to fade. Everything around you is dark and comfortable. You feel no desire to open your eyes. You relax more deeply into yourself and enjoy the silence that you have created. As you begin to drift, you can feel your body resting and becoming more comfortable, almost as if you were floating in a dark pool of water. You relax and allow yourself to drift. As you are drifting, you notice that you can feel a breeze softly caress and tickle your face. You can smell the heaty scent of sweet grass and sage around you. You are aware that you are standing upright on solid ground and no longer drifting in the dark pool. Your mind is calm as your eyes begin to focus. As they focus, you realize it is nighttime and you are in a field of sweet grass that is swaying in the night breeze, and you can smell the sage growing in the brush behind you. A short distance to your right is a stone well with a wooden thatched roof. It has an arm with a rope that is holding a wooden bucket. You wonder if you traveled through the well, and that is how you became to be here in this field. Looking past the well, you notice some distance away, a dark forest is at the edge of the field that is in front of you. You wonder what lies inside the forest. As you continue to take in your surroundings, you look up and note that the sky is dark. You can see the stars, but there is no moon visible in the sky. Even though it is dark with no moonlight, you still feel that you can see clearly and comfortably. You become more curious about the forest and cross the field until you are at the forest's edge. As you come closer, you can see that the forest is old and tangled. It reminds you of the enchanted forests in fairy tales read as a child. You peer into the forest, but it is dark, and you may find yourself a little nervous about going further. As you think about this, you see a soft glow coming from around your hands and feet. It is then that you remember you are protected by the white bubble that you have placed around yourself. 
you feel more confident and take a brave first step into the forest. Then another. Until you have penetrated the darkness. As your eyes adjust to this new darkness, you begin to see with wonder all the beauty that lies in the veiled darkness, and you are no longer apprehensive. Feeling more relaxed now, you continue walking and taking in all that surrounds you. As you make your way further into the forest, you step carefully exploring the forest floor. You can see outcroppings of rocks and wildflowers. Get close to the flowers and smell their fragrance, taking in the colors and details of each of them. Pick one of the wildflowers that appeals most to you. Take a moment to observe the flower in your hand and remember the details of it. Carry it with you as you continue to walk deeper into the woods. As you walk, you make note of other things you see in the forest. The trees, flowers, even animals seem to call your attention to them. Remember these things. You find yourself surrounded by even older trees, which seem to encroach upon your path. You must be getting close to your destination. You can feel anticipation and the tingle of energy rising within you. Ahead, you can just barely make out an inner grove. It appears to be a sanctuary in the center of the dark forest. As you move toward the grove, you feel comforted. In the clearing is a mirror that is almost as tall as you. It is glowing with a purplish silver light, even though there is no moon visible in the night sky. As you get closer to the clearing, you notice a short distance in front of the mirror is a silvery, white, waist-high stone altar. Take some time to study the altar and the mirror and what they are made of, and observe what lies on the altar itself. Move around the altar toward the mirror behind it. 
There is a bench in front of the mirror. It is made of the same material as the altar and is the perfect height for you to sit on and gaze into the mirror or turn to and work at the altar. You feel compelled to sit down on its cool, welcoming surface. As you do so, you realize that this is your mirror, the mirror of inner truths. Get comfortable on the bench and spend a moment looking at the details of your mirror. When you are ready, look up into the mirror's glassy surface. At first, you see only a black pool that appears to be both solid and liquid at the same time. You continue to study the pool's glassy surface for a while, but you cannot see your reflection in the mirror. Gazing into the mirror, you are aware that there is something coming to its surface. An image forms in the mirror. As you study the image, you realize that it is yourself that you see in the mirror. Take a moment to see yourself. Continue to gaze. Notice that the mirror image is changing form. This time the mirror is taking on the face of happiness. You now understand what the mirror is showing you as your desired self happy and content in whom you are. Here within the sanctuary, you can ask questions about how to attain the person you see reflected in the mirror's surface. Realizing that the mirror will show you true things about yourself, you begin to experiment with it. You take some time and ask the mirror to show you the masks you wear and the pieces of yourself that you fear. Study them and make mental notes about these things.
Do not push yourself to see everything at once. You can come back here as many times as you like. Only ask to see what you are ready to accept and work on. When you feel you have finished, or the mirror has returned to darkness, take a moment and thank the mirror, the goddess, God, or both, and place the flower you picked from the forest on the altar as an offering for them. Rise from your resting place on the bench and begin to make your way back to the path and back through the dark forest. As you follow the path out, consider what you have just learned. Let your feet guide you swiftly back to the field that you began on. As you enter the field, you find that your bubble has taken on the same purplish silver glow that the mirror had. You are not afraid. You feel comfortable with what you have learned and what you have accomplished. The uncertainty that you felt upon entering the forest is no longer with you and all is serene. Take a deep breath. Take a moment to ground your energies and center your mind. Prepare yourself to venture back to a waking state. Go to the stone well with the thatched roof. Pull the crank until the bucket comes to the surface. Pick up the ladle inside the bucket and drink from its waters. Feel the refreshing water pour down your throat, replenishing and refreshing you and your spirit. As you do this, close your eyes and take in the nourishment you are receiving. Slowly find yourself peacefully transported back to your body as this meditation dissolves. Take a moment and feel your body surrounding you once again. Relax and let the meditation and all the things you saw in it sit within your mind.